Right, so we are going to discuss a few more questions which were left from uh, test 10 of uh, writing. Uh, so two sec questions were left from the previous section. Now let's see what's happening here. Which choice most effectively sets up the point made in the next sentence? Which means the reference is the next sentence. So I'll read the next sentence first. Many studies show that when schools simply tell students about opportunities for community service and connect them with organizations that need help, more students volunteer for their own free will. Okay. So studies are showing that what students, what school, school should do rather than forcing students to do some voluntary work, they should tell them about the advantages and connect with the organizations. Okay, so let's see. Instead of requiring students to volunteer, requiring means man making it mandatory. Schools, so instead of making it mandatory, I'm looking for some kind of juxtaposition where we connect two things which are seemingly opposite together. So two opposite ideas. Instead of requiring students to volunteer, should schools should allow students to spend their time participating in athletics? No. Should focus on offering arrangements that make volunteering an easy and attractive choice? Of course. Are advised to recognize the limits of their ability to influence their students? Not really. Yeah, so I'll go with B. Should focus on offering arrangements because after that they're talking about what kind of arrangements. So C is the answer for this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. It says uh, the writer wants a conclusion that states the main claim of the passage. Which choice best accomplishes this goal? So when you are talking about conclusion, you need to understand the context and the story. So basically this passage was about volunteering and what could be the what is the best way to inspire students or motivate students to go for volunteering. What the passage primarily says is that students would love to go for volunteering if it is not mandatory, if it is made, uh, if, they are, if they have a choice of going for it rather than forcing them. So it is imperative that schools do their part to find volunteer for many worthwhile organizations. No, schools that do this will produce more engaged, enthusiastic volunteers than schools that require. Of course, this looks like an answer because do this means just do arrangements <clears throat> and not force them. So that is what it is trying to say. Studies in the field of psychology and economics, that's out of context. Important that students choose uh, voluntary work that suits their interests. That is not something which is said here. Moving on to the next passage. This passage talks about marsupials lend a hand to science. Now see, sometimes we don't know the meanings of certain words. For example, here marsupials are those kind of animals which are, uh, uh, you know, of the category of uh, kangaroos and those. <coughs> which are similar to mammals, we can quickly Google it. Who can stop us from Googling? So this is one good way when you are studying, you can always search for words when you are, which make, oh, they've given it here. Why should we be so curious? Mammals that, oh, 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 sorry. Mammals that carry their young in their pouch. Oh, okay. Mammals that carry their young in the pouch. All right. So like kangaroos, which are marsupials, it's given here. Okay, so marsupials, mammals that carry. So basically the context is something related to biology and animals and how these marsupials behave. Marsupials lend a hand to science. So they will help us to understand some phenomena of science is what this passage indicates. Let's read it. This kind of discussion at the beginning with your own self will give you a little context. Let's go to the question straight away. Scientists are long believing, are long believing, something is going on, present perfect continuous, have been believing, have long believed, makes more sense to me, so I'll just straight away go with this, have long believed that their structure enables complex tasks by sequestering skilled movements to a single hemisphere without sacrificing coordination between both sides of the body. I'm just reading it, but actually it's not really making any sense to me as of now and does not matter. 
because I don't have to understand everything. So basically, all I understand is they are talking about some kind of brain structure and hemispheres and all that. This sequestration would, sequestration seems like division would explain handedness. The tendency to consistently prefer one hand over the other, which sounds good to me, so I'll go with A itself. Handedness, they are defining it after a comma, like what handedness is, and this is one good way of saying it, one hand over the other. Prefer one hand over and favor the use of one hand over the other. <clears throat> Why should I say and one hand over the other, that could be chosen, that's repetition. One hand on a regular basis, that does not make sense. One hand over the other is the best explanation there of handedness. A recent finding of handedness in marsupials suggests that a trait other than presence of corpus callosum, callosum, corpus callosum, something other than cor links as handedness, links as, links as from links as correlates with sounds better. So for 26th, I go with B and for 25th, suggest a trait and there's no need of any comma. So basically this was a punctuation question. Trait other than no need of any punctuation. Why should I stop? So, yeah. So I don't, I want to emphasize that you don't need to understand everything which is spoken there. Just have to focus on editing it and getting the, I mean, the grammar part right, it should be grammatically correct. Okay, so I see some kind of graph here, so I'll focus on graph. I see that there is negative and positive sides. It says mean handled handedness index, mean handedness index. And this is left forelimb, which is on the positive side, right forelimb on is on the negative side. Okay. Mean handedness index of some people is given here. So I just had a context with me. They'll talk about left handedness and right handedness. Researchers at some university at some place observed these guys, marsupials walking either two legs or four. Okay, so there are two types, bipeds and quadrupeds, performing tasks such as this, this, this. The scientists employed a mean handedness index. Okay. Negative scores indicated a left forelimb preference. Well, negative is indicating right, in fact. So that's what they are checking. Let me go straight here. Negative is right. So which one says negative is right? When you quickly read it, you'll find this one. Positive scores indicate a left forelimb preference and negative scores indicate a right forelimb preference. So this one is correct. It's very, very straight given here that left and right re refer to <clears throat> positive and negative respectively. So right is negative. Then next question, question 28 says red necked Volberry red congo. So this is a comma separated list. When you have more than two items, you separate them by comma and the last item comes with an end is the rule. So this kangaroo red neck, this by one red kangaroo and this so before and I should have a comma. The next one is uh, preferred using their left forelimb as revealed by positive mean handedness index values less than 0.2. Less than 0.2? What, what is happening here? All bipedal marsupials preferred using their left forelimb preferred using their left forelimb as revealed by so let me see the options. I'll start with the last one. Mean handed net index value of zero. No, it is not zero. Positive mean handed net index between 0.4 and 0.6. So least is 0.4 and highest is 0.6. That makes sense to me. Okay. Positive mean handed net index value is greater than 0.6. No, it is not the case. And no change where it says that less than 0.2. So nothing of so C makes sense to me there. Having four feet quadruped marsupials in the study did not show a strong preference. Having four feet quadruped, so having four feet makes sense. Like most other mammals, 
in contrast to their bipedal counterparts. Oh, okay. Having four feet quadrupedal. So, in contrast makes sense because those with two, uh, like using hands as hands, as I understand. So, quadrupeds marsupials did not show any preference, but bipedal showed preference because they were using hands. Having four feet, no. So, in contrast to their bipedal counterpart, quadruped marsupials did not show any strong preference towards this. For instance, they, they use their right and left nearly equally. So, for quadrupeds, there is no difference as I understand. Quadrupeds are the ones which walk, which use all the four, four limbs for walking. And the bipedals are the ones who have got designated hands and legs. So, this is good to understand the context, but not very, very essential for the questions. Kangaroos, though, still do not exhibit handedness to the extent that humans do. As the researcher noted, the quadrupeds typically live in this. Which choice presents a main claim of the passage? Presents a main claim of the passage. What is the main claim? Well, we saw the main claim at the beginning also that some bipedalism and they put a colon, colon with uh, the explanation, remember? This one, handedness with bipedalism. So now since this is the last paragraph, they will sum up the whole thing and it's usually the structure that whatever they said earlier is also said in the concluding, concluding paragraphs. Yeah, this is the last one. So, what is it? Which choice presents the main claim? For the marsupials in the study, then handedness seem to be associated with bipedalism. Yes. That's what they claimed at the beginning also. Okay. The bipeds, on the other hand, are far less arboreal, leaving their... Arboreal is something which lives on trees, leaving their four limbs relatively free for tasks in which... Tasks in which, not whom... So, this is uh, the appropriate uh, word to come there. Tasks in which handedness may prefer, may confer an evolutionary advantage. Okay, what's happening here? The writer wants to conclude the passage by recalling a topic. Recalling a topic. He wants to recall a topic. Which was best? First paragraph which was mentioned. So, for further research, What's happening here? Why why the majority of marshall studied preferred their left four limbs while the majority of this preferred their right remains a mystery, all right? However, though researchers should not neglect the sizable minority of humans who are left-handed, does not make sense. I, however, uh, However, and scientists believe that studies like the one may someday yield insights into the cause of certain neurological disorders. However, an end do not really sound really well. An additional study is... Oh, that's interesting. So, this however is associated with the previous sentence. Why the majority of martial studies preferred their hand for... and preferred their left-handed... Why something happened while the majority of humans prefer the right and remains a mystery, however. So, there is no connection between however and end. So, basically, these two can also be right. Let's see. Should not neglect the sizable minority of humans who are left-handed. That's not the main idea. And he is saying they recall some topic which was discussed at the beginning. So, that was not discussed at the beginning. If I go to the beginning, what was discussed there? They were talking about some hemispheres which control and then they brought up something like bipedalism is the cause of, uh, you know, using left-handedness or right-handedness there. So, they were talking about some structures of the brain and all that. You know, hemispheres is the word I remember from that. Which was best? So, though researchers should not... So, this does make sense. Scientists believe that studies like this one may someday yield insights into the causes of certain neurological disorders. They did not talk about this is something new. And an additional study is planned to study handedness in other animals that stand upright only some of the time. 
should not neglect the sizable minority of universe who are and scientists believe that studies like this one may someday yield insights into the cause of ne certain neurological disorders and what is the option here uh humans so and as does the mechanism as does the mechanism by which as does the mechanism by which in the absence of corpus callosum the hemisphere of the marsupial brain communicate why the majority of marsupial studies preferred their left forelimbs while majority of humans prefer their right remains mystery however as does the mechanism so oh so this is connected with this as does so this is basically two things are mystery one is why are they preferring left endedness and the second thing is as does the mechanism by which in the absence of corpus callosum the hemispheres of the marsupial brain communicate so there is no corpus callosum which is like connection between the left and the right brain how does the brain communicate with each other that is also remaining that is also a challenge okay so answer is a a little background to what is this so basically this is your left and this is your right brain and the connector seems to be this corpus callosum and which is not there in case of marsupial so if this connection is not there how do the uh how the two parts of the brain communicate is a mystery so that's what this passage is talking about interesting